Are you troubled by strange noises in the night? You experience feelings of dread in your basement or attic. Have you or your family actually seen a spook, specter, or ghost? If the answer is yes, then don't wait another minute. Just pick up the phone and call the professionals. Call the Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. We're, We're ready, ready to, to believe, believe you. you. Franchises available soon. Call for details. Whoa! Russell, hey man. You near the East Wing? Yep. But by the new Ghostbuster exhibit? Yeah, why? There's something headed your way. Wait. I hear something. I'm gonna take a look. Wanna hear something really creepy? I was reading about Shandor, you know, the guy who donated most of the Gozer stuff. He was into the occult. You know, supernatural. Weird dude. <laughs> uh, well, why don't we talk about it some other time? Any other time. Hey, you can't be in here. Stop! Ghostbusters is your haunting an apparition, poltergeist, phantasm wraith, banshee demon specter, tortured solar. What? No, we do not summon dead family members and catch them so you can ask the combination to the safe. Yeah, well, same to you, pal. Hey, it's the new cadet. Welcome aboard. This might be a little dangerous. Great. Danger is our life. We'll start at 50% capacity. That should keep any burning or tissue damage to a minimum. Hey, if you're going to burn any tissue, do it to the new kid. You can't use Ray. Our mortgage is in his name. I guess he's right. What's your name again, kid? No names, Ray. I don't want to get too attached to this kid. You know, just in case. <laughs> you remember what happened to the last guy. He's tuned and ready to go. You may feel a little tingle. Good. We've perfected an extensive and rigorous training regimen that will teach you all your equipment's basic functions. It takes some time to achieve master throw skill, but it's definitely worth the effort. Was that us? I don't think so. Ray? Had to be some sort of psi energy pulse. Substantial. A significant collected and centralized necromantic convulsion, level 7 or more. Agreed. We need EMF measurement checks now. I know the answer, but I'm going to ask anyway. Is a level 7, uh, whatever, bad or very bad? On a scale of 1 to 10, I would say... Let me guess. It's a 7. Let's just say we're about to get real busy. There it is. It seems oddly drawn to the containment grid. He's been fascinated with it ever since you added the viewer to the unit. Okay, easy now, cadet. I'll talk you through this. Use the proton stream to get his attention. Now, first and foremost, before things get out of hand, you want to get to know your proton pack. It can be your best friend out there in the field. Everything you need to know is displayed on the pack itself. Here's where you keep an eye on your current physical condition. The more green that's on the bar, the more damage you can sustain and still stay on your feet. This bar indicates your pack's heat level. When it gets to the top, you'll want to vent the pack and keep it from shorting out and resetting. For the most part, capturing a ghost is pretty straightforward. We break it into three basic steps. Sap them, tap them, and trap them. Hey, how come this mump gets all the new stuff? He's our new experimental equipment technician. He gets a cool title, too? It means he gets to carry around a bunch of untested, extremely dangerous hardware that, if not handled correctly, could blow him somewhere into New Jersey. Oh, this knucklehead lugs around our very dangerous prototype hardware that could potentially blow us into New Jersey. Thanks. Keep the title, kid. It'll work hard for you. Where to, Ray? The Sedgwick Hotel. 
That's the first place that little spud will go. Right. Back to its initial manifestation point. They've got a real good buffet. It is a great one. When Winston returns from the opera, extend an invitation to join us at our table at the Sedgwick. Hey, you. You're up, buddy. Training will be on the job tonight. Try not to destroy too many Manhattan landmarks. That's our job. Well, hello. You're perfectly safe now, miss. The Ghostbusters are here. Back off, loser. Never gonna happen. <laughs> that approach rarely works with me. I'll show you why later. All right, Ace. Get ready. Dr. Stance, if you do the honors. Proud to, Dr. Venkman. Part of our settlement with the city. Proton packs must remain off in heavily populated public areas. And in close quarters. It minimizes the city's liabilities and satisfies the restraining order the maid here had put on us. Where we live in today, you shoot a proton stream of highly charged particles at someone, they get all so happy. It's him! All right, Slimer. You've had your fun. The elevator's off limits. Egon? Come in. I think we're stuck in the elevator. We need some help. Think we're stuck. Well, let's see. Think we're stuck? Think we're stuck? Think we're stuck? Ray, you guys, uh, good with officially stuck in the elevators? Show of hands. Here it comes. Kill it, Ray! Need a hand? You always fail me, don't you? Breath. There, the Alhambra ballroom. No way he could pass that up. Absolutely not! You can't go in. The Rodriguez bar mitzvah is set to start in half an hour. I'll bet the beef brisket is today's special. And you've done quite enough already. I'm sure the thing will just go away. I, I'm willing to risk it. You're not going in there. That's all we needed to hear. All right, we're out. Coffee time, everyone. Service has been declined beyond this point. Perhaps a place sitting disturbed? Still pretty much ready. Full go for the Rodriguez blowout. The Alhambra Ballroom. The Bar Mitzvah. What have you done? The guests are arriving in 15 minutes! What seems to be your problem? Thanks to me and my new exclusively assigned recruit here, the festivities can now proceed in an entirely ghost-free environment. So, you're welcome, huh? And, uh, to the Rodriguez, Alachayim, from the Ghostbusters. This way. Looks like he's drifting upstairs. Can't get across there. Move. Take the lead. Take this trap. Good work. Are you all right? Nice going. You might really be the right person for this job. Yes, you have destroyed a significant section of a five-star New York hotel in just under three hours. Your mother and I are so proud. Aren't we, Egon? He's got something. Let's track it down. Anybody here from Zetamore? Uh, guys, I'm right outside. And so is something else. Gosh, we've missed you, partner. Glad you could make it. But first, how was Aida? Well, we had to make do with, uh, this new specimen here. I've been trying to get here for over four hours, Peter. Traffic is a little blocked right now. Wait. I know that thud. Winston, what do you see out there? It's big. 
It's clean and soft and white, and you all aren't gonna like it. No, this is not possible. Not here, not now, not again! I swear it. I'm detecting something significant behind us. What is that? Am I hearing wings? Shiny and clean. I love it. Say, is that him? Oh, it's hard to miss. Egon, how close do we have to get the big trap to reel him in? A lot closer than this. What's he up to now? He's looking for something. Is he looking for something or someone? If you can see behind me, the streets are in absolute chaos. Authorities are doing everything they can to quell the panic and maintain order. It is madness out here. The Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, star of the popular children's television show, is on a rampage. This is not the Stay Puff we come to love. Fortunately, the Ghostbusters have arrived and put everything back to normal. It's damaged. I've got to fix it or we won't stand a chance. Okay, Ghostbusters. Just a level 5 platform cross rip. The professionals are here. Everybody calmly at the screen. No sudden movements. Locked up. All full, going up. Uh, he, uh, just passed gas. Catch the next one. Relax, sir. We handle foul vapors all the time. Let's stay in for lunch, you said. Why leave the building, you said. It'll be quiet, you said. You know you're fired. You're right. I secretly knew our lives would be in danger and thought, Hey, I'll make sure I trap Mark with me inside an elevator! Excuse us. Here he goes! The big evil sailor all the way to the... Oh! Not quite. Didn't make it. Hey, Ray. Say three guys the size of your finger knocked you off the side of a 30-story building and you had to climb all the way back up to tear them apart. How, how mad would you be at those three little dinky types? I'd go with Mighty Pissed. Uh -huh. Okay, and throw in a sugar high, too. That giant blue and white toy man thing, or whatever, is still coming. It's climbing the building. I'm impressed with his agility, considering his complete lack of bones. the Super Slammer back on pulse and Ecto-1 is rolling. We're repositioning now. Can you hold the Stay Puft there for a few minutes? If by few you mean less than one, then sure, we can do that. Hey, did somebody tell you it was break time? No sweat, kid. We've got you. Well, as long as you're down there, would you see if you could knock off Mr. Sweetness? I guess I owe you guys my life. She's clean. How do you feel? Pretty good. All extremely weird things considered. So far, just another screwed up day at the office. 
You know, I never forget a face attached to all the rest of that. I think we met earlier at the Sedgwick Hotel. You gave me the sideshow chicken drop. My name's Alyssa, Dr. Alyssa Selwyn, and- I am Dr. Peter Venkman, and that's C. Egon. It's uh, Ray Winston, and uh, you met him. Uh-huh, the Ghostbusters. Have you ever been involved in this type of quantum temporal rift event before? A quantum what? It's called arcing, a large pulse of psychic energy. Actually, yes. I was at the museum. A pulse of blue light surged through the building, and then I was standing outside a room on the 13th floor of an old hotel. The Sedgwick. The Sedgwick doesn't have a 13th floor. It was pulling me like a magnet. I felt as though I was in a deep dream. I came to and ran over here. Here? It's a temporary office while I'm in town. I came to do some research after I woke up. We'd like you to come to our lab so we can run some brief tests and ask you more questions. Here's an easy one. Would you like to go out for Thai, Mexican, Japanese? Wow, Dr. Venkman. That time you almost went 45 seconds without saying something abrasive. Want to try for a whole minute next time? A doctor, and a fiery one, too. Charming. So charming. So you know so much about Gozer because... Because I'm a specialist in ancient Mesopotamian cultures and architecture. Sumerian, primarily. Gozerian, more specifically. I'm here as a guest curator for the Gozerian exhibit that's opening tomorrow at the Natural History Museum. You are aware that we also have some history with Gozer. Yes, of course. Gozer was a bush leaguer before he met us. A strictly farm team deity. We put him on the map. But our getting stiffed on invites to opening night, just an oversight, right? I don't have anything to do with that. That, gentlemen, was all me. And I can assure you, it was not an oversight. Oh, by the way, you have visitors. Thanks, Janine. Your first-class lookout. Walter Peck. I did not recognize you without the mayor's backside attached to your nose. Okay, everybody put them back in their skivvies. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, Dr. Selwyn, are you all right? I think so. But I'm worried about the exhibit. Are you kidding? You can't buy publicity like this! The guest curator of the Gozer exhibit, the expert Peck recommended, is attacked the night before the opening by Gozer himself! Please, tell me that was Gozer. Gozer manifested in a familiar form, one he had used before, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, but this event was weaker than his first encounter with us. Ha! That's all I need! Thanks! Come on, Jock. What's the idea of bringing Peck around here? Oh, have I coughed at the wrong time? <laughs> Listen, here's the deal. You and Peck and all you guys are going to work together. What? No way, no how. Impossible. Look, this city has given you at least a dozen contracts for the jails, courthouses, and wharves. You guys want to grow your business. Get some county and state work, too. I'm all for it. You've been big supporters and great for my campaign. Well, some have said our endorsement is what got you elected. But not out loud. Anyway, after all the damage you've been causing lately, the city council wants you under close supervision for a period of no less than six months. We file reports on time. There's no need for extra supervision. Ha! <laughs> Funny guy, Bankman. You've always been my favorite. Well, that's where your old friend Peck comes in. He's annoying, a stickler for the rules. In other words, the perfect pet for the job. He's our new head of Peacock. Peacock? P-C-O-C, Paranormal Contracts Oversight Commission. And my first official act is going to be suspending you clowns' operating license. Lighten up, Peck. Launch your investigation if you have to, but for now just keep them under control and my office in the loop. But remember, if the Ghostbusters cease to exist, so does your job. So you need each other. Beautiful in an ironic, symmetrical kind of way, isn't it? Hey, Mulligan, come on. It's Mayor Mulligan to you, Venkman. So, we have an understanding? This kind of protects us all. You want more government business, I want to keep my approval rating, and Peck wants his little fiefdom. You play by the rules. Easy. We all get what we want, and the city council gets what they need. 
Okay, big night tomorrow, Alyssa. Get some rest. So, now that we're all friends, can we get invites to the museum opening? Not likely. But I'll be seeing you soon. You can count on that. Doesn't Peck look exactly like the kind of guy who'd accidentally walk into the stream of a bosun glider? I'm just saying, it, it could happen. Ghostbusters, what do you want? You can schedule a visit, um, next th Ray and I have been talking. And we think we should have a look at the museum. Whatever happened tonight, it started there. Okay, I'll take one for the team. Stay with Ilyssa. You guys go with Winston and the recruit. I'll be your personal protection. What about Peck? He's supposed to be informed of everything we do. What he doesn't know can't hurt us. Hey guys, you need to make a detour. Something big is going down. It's on 1010 Winds now. Tune it in. And another ghostly sighting has staff at the New York Public Library scrambling for answers. The Gray Lady. Let's get her for real this time. Go! Whoa, what about the museum? It's been there for 104 years. Where's it gonna go today? Um, this thing you guys have for the great lady borders on the wheel. You know that, right? She made us look like schmucks. Not this time. Oh, and another thing. Pat called and says that I'm required to tell him where you are and what you are up to. Tell him he can meet us at the museum. We'll be there. Eventually. In the periodical section. Checking the box scores from the Knicks game last night. Why? Tell us more about this collector, Winston. Says here that this collector used the Grey Lady to get to the rare books in her care. Specifically a book called, get this, the Gozerian Codex. Great! Yeah, and when she found out what he was up to, she dumped him. Smart lady. Not really. Evidently, he murdered her for it. Uh-oh. The Grey Lady was his first victim, but he killed a bunch more. And let me guess, he collected their bodies just like he collected books? Bingo! Ray, you get to buy me dinner. And here's the last on the collector. Seconds before he was hanged, he said he would return as Azaglor, some sort of god, to keep watch over the library and every rare book in its collection. Sounds like quite the bookworm. Sounds like the kind we run into all the time. I can't follow her through that grate. Is there another way? What you find there, young blood? Good work. Spangler, the kid found the exit. I added something new to the pack. This is the PDS, Plasm Distribution System. Basically, it's Slime Blower Mark II, heavily modified from the earlier version. Your plasm banks are now integrated into the Proton Pack. It uses a base culture of ectoplasm that can impair entities, cause caustic black slime to go inert, and reveal otherwise invisible ethereal structures that reside on this plane. To use the Slime Blower, just point and squirt. It will help neutralize any active factors of black slime. See? Neutralized slime. <laughs> Shortcut to hell. That's convenient.
eerie place. I wonder if this is where the Collector killed the Librarian. I think that would be a safe assumption. That book she's reading is emitting massive energy. That's your cue, killer. Go get him. I do like what they've done with the place here. But I hope that portal would have taken us back to the library. Actually, we are back in the public library. The dimensional membrane must be extremely thin here. Someone's holding us here. The Collector. Yes, Azatlar wants to add to his collection, and he's probably not too happy about us taking the Gozerian Codex with us. Oh yeah? What can a twisted little bookworm do to scare us? He murdered Eleanor Twitty for it when he was alive, and a dozen others just to cover it up. Hey, Collector! We're taking your book! What do you think about that? Ah, uh, he's right behind me. Yes, I think you got his attention, Ray. Oh, boy. What the hell were you guys? I've been running all over this library, calling you, looking for you, nothing! We passed through a cross-dimensional portal into an alternate version of the New York Public Library and fought a 40-foot monster made out of priceless antiques to steal an ancient magical book. Oh, well, that would explain it then. Next time, leave a note. Ray, does this mean anything to you? Nope, it wasn't here the first time we came through. What is it? Not entirely sure, but whatever it is, I think we just turned it off. You thinking what I'm thinking? Then cross New York style with no visible anchovy. Hmm? Maybe later. Right now I need to go back to the lab and take a look at this codex. And analyze the data we've collected. It could help us when we go to the museum. Slice to go on the way? Rookie Street? And we need to know what this is. I'll call for delivery. Again. Well, it's a great read, but nothing about that. I know that symbol. How? It shows up sometimes in Sumerian ritual magic. There's a statue on loan at the museum that features it. What does it represent? Just a symbol. Signifies a path to obtain great power. Most of my colleagues assume it's an old constellation. No constellation I ever saw. And I used to tell fortunes on Coney Island. Is that right? Did you wear a turban? No, man. A red velvet cape with moons. It was plush. Get this. The Codex does indicate there is some kind of feeder system required to channel energy to a destructor form. A destructor form? Like Stay Puft? It's entirely possible that system and this pattern are connected. It's possible. Wait, you said the Gozerian statuary at the museum is on loan. From whom? Evo Shandor, the architect. Well, the Shandor Foundation. They control Shandor's remaining estate and holdings. Evo is a big collector of Gozerian artifacts. By Evo Shandor the architect, you mean Evo Shandor the genocidal maniac, right? That's what I was researching when Gozer attacked me. Shandor's architecture firm was involved in a number of projects around town in the late 18, early 1900s. Including Dana Barrett's old building on Central Park West. You mean the one with the extra dimensional antenna that drew Gozer to our world so he could attempt to destroy it? He had a nice view of the park though. Yes, but he also did some renovations on existing buildings and a number of public works. There was controversy, because a lot of people thought the work was unnecessary. Let me guess. He did some renovations on the public library building on 5th. Right. And the Museum of Natural History. Recent visitations, specific localized paranormal activity, singing Vikings. They're all connected to Shandor and this pattern. We should warn the mayor. I don't know, he's likely to just sick peck on us even more. You should get a closer look at the museum. Well, the mayor's gonna be at the museum for the exhibitioning opening gala tonight. It's where I need to be too. Elissa, you sure make work fun for me. Is business casual okay? I don't have a tux. Are you kidding? He doesn't want you guys within three city blocks of the museum tonight. 
He thinks you make his campaign contributors nervous. Besides, that pet guy will be at the party, too. Okay, Egon will stay here and finish analyzing the data from the library. The rest of us will go in by the service entrance of the museum and lay low. Peter can attend the party as Alyssa's guest and stay in plain sight of Peck. And that frees us up to check out the rest of the building. I love this plan. It's just dull enough to work. Ill, I'm gonna bring you a corsage. There it is again! Don't let it get me! Don't you worry. She'll have to go through me first. Not to come work. There's so much to show you. Uh, where to start? Things have been very strange since they started setting up that exhibit. Well, hello there. Dig it, Peter. We got possessed again. Ah, Z! You'll have to go through me first. <laughs> That's exactly what he said. Just like a puppy, every day's the first day. No, no, no! I want the Ghostbusters ejected from this facility immediately! Where's his honor, Pecker? We've got news for him and a photo op. The mayor is indisposed right now. Anything you need to tell him goes through me. Not happening, Peck B. This is for Jock. Jock. Security! Remove these men with excessive force. Why do the good ones always play hard to kill? What in the hell is going on here? We <laughs> got picked. No, I, ne I never got hit. Alright, you guys go after Alyssa. Be careful. I'll get to security. I love this plan. I'll man the security cameras to triangulate them on the monitors and talk you through. See you soon, Ray. Let's go, guys. See you soon, guys. Dr. Rutherford, if you'll show me to security. We made it to the security office. I can see you guys on the cameras. No sign of Alyssa or her kidnappers, though. In the early 1900s, the museum was run by a board of trustees. Powerful guys, tycoons, captains of industry. The chairman of the board was Cornelius Wellesley of International Steel. The board used the museum as a respectable front for all kinds of dubious activities. Mainly, though, they were part of a club run by our favorite evil architect. They hired women from the St. Nicholas Rehabilitation Mission for Wayward Angels. Rumor has it the board conducted all kinds of nasty rituals using these women. Watch it now. Yeah, of course. The trap locks us in with the ghost. Wouldn't it be nice to get locked out every now and then? What a nightmare. Thank you. Not the words of rescuing hero wants to hear from his damsel in distress. May I say, your eyes are much prettier when they're not glowing like hot coals. Peter, I've made an extraordinarily frightening discovery. Why don't you all go away? All my data indicate that the ghost world is beginning to push through multiple cross portals from their dimension into ours. Well, more overtime. Guys, look! <laughs> Winston, get the lady out of here before he hits on her again. 
Into the big yellow eye. <laughs> Who wouldn't like to have that superpower? Care to tell me why my library, museum, and parade are all going down the toilet? I keep telling you, sir, the Ghostbusters are nothing but scam artists determined to throw a negative light on you and the city, and extort you for more money. Hello, Peck. I own that suit in blue. Both of you! Pipe down! Mr. Mayor, an enormous event is on the horizon. Something at the museum exhibit triggered a systemized psychic occurrence. Some mechanism we don't know the nature of yet. No, of course you don't. But it's feeding enormous energy somewhere. Something that's now in the process of breaking down the walls between our world and another one. This other world is crossing through into ours. It started with simple ghosts and animated monsters. Now it's getting bigger. We don't know exactly what's next, but there's only room for one city here in this dimension. Two physical worlds can't exist in the same space. That's just elementary particle physics. We got a glimpse of the other world, Jock. It ain't pretty. It's like Brooklyn and the Bronx with no queens in the middle. Whole city blocks sinking into a fifth dimensional abyss. Cockroaches the size of polo ponies. Panic in the streets. How'd you like disco to come back? bigger than ever. I get it. We're in trouble. So what am I supposed to do? We need to prepare the city for the worst. The city's my responsibility, not yours. Now go do your job and stop that thing. way, gentlemen. Well, this looks inviting. I'll be at the office watching over Alyssa. Don't do anything fun without me. I should have shuttered you fraudulent gangsters forever when I had the chance. You know what? I'm going to put an end to this madness now. Right now. I'm shutting down your containment grid for good. You can kiss off a permanent license, not to mention any chance for more government contracts. You did this to me. And you're going to pay. You're welcome, you peck. All right, that's it. That's it. You're done, smart guys. You are done, smart, cool guys. I have the authority, and I'm shutting you and your phony containment grid down now. The whole city will have to pay because of your shenanigans. The whole city. What? But that shuts you down, too. Well, so be it. I have bigger fish to fry. And get him off me! I think we need to keep an eye on him. You think? No, I mean, we really need to keep an eye on him. What does this symbol mean? Uh, guys. Perfect fit. It's not a constellation. It's a mandala. I can't believe I never saw it before. Okay, for one minute, pretend someone here doesn't know what a mandala is. A mandala is like a spiritual labyrinth. And this one looks like a spiraling system that feeds into each successive node along the line until it reaches a culmination point. Before he died, Shandor must have set some mechanism in place similar to the antenna in Dana's building. You know, I think you helped to make that clear. So this was the gizmo that's supposed to feed energy to the destructor form? That's... that's right, Peter! Well, Dr. Venkman. Well, I had to get one right eventually, didn't I? I mean, just math. All right, I'm just speculating, but it's possible that ghosts are trapped in the system, funneled from node to node, and they get stronger and stronger until they reach the end, and then they... Look, the first portal, the library, the second, the museum, and the third, the Sedgwick. And that means the fourth portal must be right here. The middle of the Hudson River? Well, according to the Mandala, yes. It may need a little tweaking. I don't know. Plenty of bodies in that river. Could become ghosts. But what does this have to do with me? What did I do? You were at the museum and the Sedgwick. Maybe you were some sort of catalyst, accidentally setting things in motion. You're saying this is my fault? You are blameless! 
what Egon meant to say was that you have some sort of connection to this thing and we're going to go back to the sedge we're going to find out what. Isn't that right, Brainiac? That's right, Peter. Alyssa, do you remember where you were going when you were at the Sedgwick? I was standing outside a room. 1221. Something was compelling me to go in, but I woke up just before the door opened. I ran out of there as fast as I could. And then some jerk tried to pick me up on the elevator. Okay, you need to stay here where it's safe and where you can't set off any more cross-dimensional shockwaves, hot stuff. Here, read up on the Mandela and the boys will check out the Sedgwick. The boys? And what about you, Superstar? I'm gonna have you drop me off near Peck's office. Something tells me he's not quite what he seems. Good idea. Meet us at the hotel when you're done. Whoa. If this place were any more dead, we need a coroner. Egon used to be a licensed coroner. No kidding. It's just a hobby now. Close until further notice by the Paranormal Contracts Oversight Commission. Peacock. Entrance into this establishment is strictly forbidden and is punishable by fine and imprisonment. What now? Hmm. This notice is for the general public. It doesn't apply to us. We're bonded contractors for the city. Especially the Ghostbusters. All right, heat them up. We'll melt our way in. Wait, I have a better idea. Good thinking. Hmm, this is disappointing. No, disappointing is the Jets losing in the last two minutes. Not being covered in slime by phantom ghouls out to kill us doesn't exactly make me reach for a hank. Why they shut down? You guys didn't bang the place up that bad last time you were here. If this place is a Mandala note, a few burnt walls and broken ceilings are the last thing that anybody's... And smashed furniture, broken chandeliers, destroyed paintings, shattered vases, probably some minor structural damage. Thanks, Egon. My point being that there's more to worry about here than some minor cosmetic issues. Definitely a Mandala node. If we don't shut down Shandor's Mandala soon, most of Manhattan will become as vacant as this. Not to mention also becoming a bastion of absolute mind-numbing horror for centuries to come. Hey, I definitely don't lay out two grand a month for a 600 square foot walk-up to live in a bastion. Let's get to work. My God. Someone you know? I don't know. Most of the old staff knows the story of the Spider Witch, a professional widow who did unimaginable things in a room on the 12th floor back in the 1920s. Egon, what were you saying earlier about the Mandala note? You mean why do we keep seeing new ghosts? Yeah. Okay. Think of the Mandala as a city bus line. At the bus station, ghosts or waiting passengers are drawn into the system here and trapped. This concentrates their PK energy, which is then eventually forced through to the next node, or station, and so on until it all ends at a final terminus. At each successive bus station, the station manager absorbs some of the energy. This makes the station manager, or node guardian, stronger so that it can keep the ghosts in line and destroy anyone who comes to the station to interfere with the flow. These nodes, or bus stations, gather the power used to feed a central point, thus creating a much bigger threat to our world. Does that make more sense now? DTTC, Totally Trapped Transit Company. Yeah, you were going strong right up until the passengers got trapped inside the bus station. When is my performance review again? I deserve more stock options. I say, young lady, you are full of surprises. After you, my dear. That was terrifying. Be extremely careful. This is likely to be a point of dangerous concentration. My ankles. Goodness, we hardly know each other. What? Who? What are you? No! Help! No. Please!
It's the ghost world crossing through, happening sooner than we expected. It looks like this is where the node is focused. We could use some help. Ray, are you there? Come in, Ray! Looks like it's up to us. Let's find 1221 and finish this. Look, the mandala map. Hey, Winston, come in, you there? Egon, what happened? You all right? Their crew found the 13th floor and we shut it down. PKE levels are back to acceptable parameters. This node of the mandala is fully neutronized. All right, where are you? We went back down to the 12th floor and couldn't find anything. Everything seems pretty normal. Looks like we're back in the Ruby Ballroom. We'll meet you at Ecto-1. Egon, remind me, why are we driving aimlessly in the fog? The final note, Beckman. Close it, and we seal the mandala, trapping the ghosts inside. Sorry to break this to you, Egon, but I just don't see a mandala... You were saying? Shandor Island. It's here. Drop you guys in a circle. If Ecto-8 sinks, we're sunk too. Ray, since you're the most excited about going to Ghost Island, why don't I just take the boat? I, I, I thought I was making a nice gesture. You're giving me the suspicious look. <laughs> Drop it instantly. Let's get going, because nobody enjoys rushing headlong towards their death more than this fellow. Alyssa, I see her. You and me both. She's wearing just a simple terry cloth robe. And she's brought me coffee. That's her, all right. Spitting image. The resemblance is uncanny. This is Evo Shandor's mother, painted in 1885. Wait. What? Alyssa is a Shandor? Why does this always happen to me? I meet a girl, she's crazy about me, but she always turns out to be some kind of unbelievable fixer-upper! This is all making sense. Alyssa must have inadvertently triggered the mandala because she has Shandor blood. And she doesn't know it. When I did her profile, she told me she was adopted. Some coincidence, huh? You don't really believe this happened by accident. No. Someone must have known and set this up. The mayor did say that Peck personally recommended Alyssa to be the guest curator of the Gozer exhibit. Once a Peck, always a Peck. Check this joint out. Unless my sensory array is malfunctioning, that is definitely the place we're looking for. Hey, where'd the caddy go? Yo, cool breeze. Come on out. Peter, behind you. No! Get back! Take your imaginary hands off me, man! No, there's too many. <laughs> Egon! They got Egon! Bring him back here! Kid, help us!
The stench is horrible. It smells like the Fulton fish market when they've got fish. Wait, I know that monster. Putrid mass of hatred, bile, and anger. Not exactly Mr. Sunshine, is it? samples? Did it have multiple eyes? Shut up. Oh, thank God you're here. What's going on, Janine? Where's Alyssa? She's gone. They took her. One minute everything was fine, the next it was chaos. Ghosts flying everywhere. Janine, slow down. Start from the beginning. Okay. I was a little late this morning because one of the heels on my favorite pair of pumps broke and Lester's was out of my favorite tea. You know how I love my chamomile. Well, and... Okay. Maybe not the beginning. Start where things went haywire around here. Okay. Okay. Somebody jumped me from behind. And before I passed out, I heard Alyssa struggling and yelling, No! And the last thing I remember was the screams of the dead and damned echoing in my brain. So I thought there was a mass escape from Rikers. Or someone shut down our containment grid again. Again? Just like Peck threatened to do. It's funny. I always knew that Peck was a pencil-necked bureaucratic prick. But I never pegged him as an evil occultist. But where did he take her? And where are all the ghosts? Cause, no offense, but if all the ghosts we've ever caught just escaped, I'm clocking out. Yeah, they would be awfully mad at us. Exactly. It's generally a bad idea for the guards to hang out in the cell blocks just after a prison break. This just in. As authorities continue to supervise the Thanksgiving evacuation of Manhattan, increasingly powerful tremors are rocking Central Park. The question is, where are the Ghostbusters? Uh, tell you what, kind of a nice day. Why don't we go to Central Park? Could round up some ghosts, say the girl. Get back in time for a nap. Okay, the Ghostbusters ride again. Just once, I wouldn't mind running with these other fools away from the trouble. Where's the fun in that? Guesses on where we'll find Peck and Alyssa? I suspect that we're going to need the Super Slammer up there. No telling how powerful Peck has grown. That means we gotta take the Ecto-1. I'll drive. Maybe the trainee should drive. Nah! Thanks, Winston. Any ideas? Ah! Junior's pretty spry, even with that hundred pounds of proton accelerator. Ow! That was... that was ow there! Make your way around to the other side and open this gate for us. Sneaky. Let's spread out and flank them. Wait a minute. Oh, I get it now. This has been bugging me. 
when the necromantic shockwave summoned Gozer back to our plane, why didn't he assume a more effective destructor form immediately? I mean, the Marshmallow Man is scary, sure, but there has to be a better way to destroy the world. It's simple. When he enters our plane of existence, he must be locked into that form from our first encounter. One destructor form per god per dimension. I like it. Sounds like the kind of symmetry these things tend to operate on. Hey, so maybe I didn't choose such a bad destructor after all, huh? Wait, it's Ilsa. It's Peck. Can we blast them? Just one's really hard. Nobody's gonna know. Easy, Venkman. Everything points to Peck being a pawn. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. It's the mayor. No, Ray, it's not. It's Evo Shandor. Shandor possessed the mayor, turned Peck on us to slow us down, and when we shut down his Mandela before he could get fully juiced, he hijacked our ghost out of the containment unit as an alternate energy source. Very good. And they say you're the slow one. Wait. Who says that? Everybody. What's the girl have to do with it? Taking her was necessary. To assume my own destructor form, I require blood. My blood. What about Gozer? I thought you built this all for him. I did, but he failed me. Twice! How he earned the title the Destroyer is beyond me. Anyway, I thought to myself, why worship a god when you can actually become one? Slime Now deactivate your pulse, and we'll cross the streams with the blast function. I can't shut mine down, Ray. Me too. Me neither, I mean. Who decided to reinforce these shoulder straps? Yeah! We eat gods for breakfast. I'm deactivating the cross stream governor. I never thought I'd say this again. Cross the stream! We eat gods for breakfast? Too much, you think? No, I liked it. I've got you. Get me down from here. Please! Nuba. I'm begging you! Let me You're down! Huh? <laughs> this is not the last you will see of me. Ghostbusters! Hey, fellas! What are you doing here? What am I doing here? Uh, where is here? You were the victim of a trans-dimensional possession, Your Honor. Uh, what's that mean? An evil ghost was walking around in your body for a few months. Whoa! Did anyone notice? Well, how's my approval rating? Well, you got re-elected. By the way, you're a descendant of Shandor. Yeah, I kinda got that. What? <laughs>